Hi everyone, it's Linda with Homeschooling Fun with Linda and today I'm gonna to share with you my list of buckets. Nope, not my bucket list, but my list of buckets. And these are buckets that we have that make my life so much easier and I thought so I'd share them with you so hopefully they'll help you too. First of all is my just in case bucket. Now I've shared this before on my page and on YouTube, but my son suffers from car sickness along with myself. Unfortunately, he inherited that from me. And so many times he's gotten sick in the car. So I've learned through experimental things, what works and what doesn't work um, with containing smells and spills and everything else. So I've discovered that a bucket is the best thing to have for car sickness or to contain any kind of smells, whether it's a dirty diaper or anything else you have to keep contained for a little while to get to the next stop. This is just a protein powder. You can use your collagen powder uh, buckets or whatever you, bucket you have, just clean it out and use it. And I keep this in the car. That way he can, if he feels he's getting sick, he can get sick in the bucket. It's really big. He'll never get this sick. And then you can close the lid and you have to go about smells or spills until you get to the next stop. So my just in case bucket, if you have a, a car sick person in your family, a motion sickness person, or if you have uh, smells that you need to get rid of that you don't want to sneak up the whole area, nice contained sealed bucket always works. My next thing is my wiggles and giggles bucket. This I keep in the classroom, but I also use this for workout routines. But next week I'm teaching a Halloween themed workout at our church and it's gonna be fun. Um, it's family friendly, so we have kids and adults. And this one though particular is for our classroom. Little boys are notorious for having lots of energy. And believe me, I know there's some girls like that too. So when you're at that point, you think, oh my gosh, he's just not paying attention. He's got to get his wiggles and, and giggles out. So what we do in our old house was I would have him run to the front door, tag it, and run back. Run to the front door, tag it, and come back over and over again until he's like, ah, and then he could sit down and focus his energy on classroom. But what we do now is, since mommy's always, always eating too much and trying to lose weight, is I do it along with him. Anytime that he's getting ants in his pants, we just draw out uh, the bucket. So this one was jog in place 30 seconds. This one's run to the front door and back three times. Um, do five push-ups. Whatever your child is capable of, put them in there. And I'm telling you, it's fun. Um, they think that your mommy's just being so silly and fun and I gotta get my wiggles out. You can do, you know, wiggle giggles or whatever you wanna do. Put it in the bucket and then mom, if you wanna burn some calories, do it along with your child. It's something you can do together. It really does help them refocus if they get their wiggles out and then they can come back and work diligently. And another thing I love is, and I've posted this before on my, on my page, is some of the reasons I love you. I gave this to Grayson a couple Valentine's days ago. And basically I just listed in here some of the many reasons that I love him. And just to cheer him up, make him feel better about himself, that kind of things. And let's see, I've got a couple of these out. I love that you always try new foods. I love how fun you are, how fun you are. People love to be around you. So these are just little pick-me-ups. I love how help helpful you are to me. Anything that helps your child feel good. And this is great. You can pull out when they're feeling down, they're feeling a little sad. Maybe they get a bad test grade. If they're a perfectionist like Grayson and he gets a B, he freaks out. Whatever, any times that they're down, um, this is a great little pick-me-up. Actually, for anybody. I gave my mom this one year for her birthday. Bless her heart. She's passed away now. But um, I put a really nice jar, glass jar, and I made 365 of them for her to draw out one a day. And it was just shared very sentimental moments. Um, memories, precious things, reasons I loved her and was thankful for her. This is a great gift too. If you want to give a nice caring gift, someone put it in a nice jar with a big bow and just let them pull out daily uh, reminders of why you love them and are thankful for them in your life. Okay, now my last two favorite buckets, a chore bucket and a scripture bucket. I actually don't have a chore bucket myself, but I have a girlfriend who does and she swears by it and I thought very smart of her. She assigns for the weekend all the chores that have to be done that are extra like 
cleaning the toilets, cleaning the dog cage area, picking up poop, whatever the, your, the chores are that aren't a routine for her, their family. And she has everybody draw out what they're doing for the day. And it, she said it's actually more fun because her boys look forward to it and they think, oh, am I gonna get the stinky job? I'm ready to get the easy job. And the luck of the draw is there. So it's equal opportunity for what you're gonna be stuck with. So I thought a chore jar would be really, really fun or a chore bucket. And then my last favorite bucket is a scripture bucket. And I actually just recently switched my scripture bucket to a scripture wall. I have a very close family member um, going through an illness right now. So I needed to have it visualized right in the master bedroom everywhere where I can see it every day and pray for all the things I need to pray. But before I did have a scripture bucket and similar to the, the many reasons I love you bucket, um, you could do 365 scripture, you could do theme scriptures, you could do, you know, seven, one a week, whatever you want to do, whatever it is, the circumstance you're going through, was it illness, a divorce, a betrayal, or maybe you're just trying to be more grateful, or maybe you're just trying to get into God's word more. You could put your scriptures in the bucket, pull it out and read it every day. And it's just amazing how it always ends up being what I needed to hear on that right day. God has a way of doing that. It's pretty amazing. But I wanted to share one last thing. Colossians 3.23, it's my absolute favorite scripture in the whole world as a mom. Um, so many times as moms, we feel neglected, we feel taken for granted, and we definitely do the mundane work over and over again. Much of it's not even acknowledged or seen. So we can get become tiresome and weary and start feeling like, why am I doing this? No one appreciates it. But God appreciates it. And if you read Colossians 3.23, whatever you do, do it with all your heart as if working for the Lord and not for man. And for me, it helps to substitute man with my husband's name or my son's name, or you could substitute your neighbor or social media or your mother-in-law or, or your friend or whoever you're having a hard time with. You need a deep breath. You're going to read Colossians 3.23. Remember, you're not doing it to impress those people. You're not doing it for the attaboys. You're doing it to be the best mommy, best wife, best friend, best whoever you can be. And you're doing it to impress God. You're doing it for him and you're doing it for you. You're not doing it for anybody else. And as moms, like I said, they're not going to say our three, four, five, six-year-olds are going to say, Mom, you're amazing. You need a promotion. You should get a raise. You need an attaboy. Why don't you go take an extra long lunch today, Mom? Because I saw that toilet paper roll that you replaced. I saw that 10th load of laundry you folded so neatly, and I appreciate that. It's not going to happen, is it? So if you just get down and you're feeling sad and you feel like, Ugh, if I have to do this one more time, no one even appreciates it. Read Colossians 20, 23, Mama. I promise you it will help you. It has saved me so many times to remember. They don't see it, but God sees it. And you know you did it. And you know you're being the best mommy you can be. And that's all that matters. So Colossians 3, 23, plaster it all over your house. It will help you. So I hope my buckets, my list of buckets, not my bucket list, my list of buckets have helped you because something as silly as a little visual like that and getting your wiggles and giggles out and all the fun things we're talking about today, it really does help. And there are days that we really need all the help we can get, right?